here and welcome back to another Lego City update. I'm finally back with another one. I absolutely love these videos and you do too. It's one of the series that I've got on my channel that just gets the most views and it's just so fun to do. So today I've got another one and as you can see there's a lot of change here and there's some change further back there. So I think we should just get started. So in September you may uh, sort of have heard that I said in the last update I was going to finish this. Unfortunately, in case you haven't noticed, it's nowhere near completion. I've just got like a little teaser structure here just to kind of get an idea of the height. But the reason for that is I've been buying Lego. I've bought one haul and it ended up being discoloured yellow parts so I couldn't use them. So I sent that back and I just got another haul and they were discoloured too. However, they're slightly better so hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> don't mark my words, I'll have this done by the next update. But nevertheless, I do have progress you know um, I've started this floor with this section here you can get a really good idea of sort of how that's going to come together you know it's got that really nice feel to it and it's got a nice blend through the floor so that you don't notice it and that's basically what I'm going to try and do also the floors are going to be having a brick underneath and on top so in the end it will actually be the equivalent to another floor and a half higher which is really awesome I've got this brand new tree uh, just down here and that's it's a pretty nice tree. It was sort of designed with just some of the stranger parts that I had. I thought it would be quite cool to use them. So I do like that. I've added in a lot of foliage around here, a little snake, some more foliage underneath there, and generally a lot more wildlife in my city. But I've also got a little section over here. You can see that's where I've got myself and all the sig figs. I added in a little cherry tree, and then I've got my ice cream stand, my bike rack, and my little apple stand. I think that's all coming together very nicely and you can also see I've got some trees down here, some grass. I'm really pleased with how sort of green my city has come out. I decided I wanted to make it like that and I think I've done a really good job. Now nothing else has changed down this side. Someone did ask what I'm actually going to do with this open section and it's actually for future buildings just like the Cafe Leo. I plan on making a lot more buildings. So do stay tuned to see that. Sorry for the shaky camera. Whoa. So basically, over on this side, there's not a whole lot of change, but there is some stuff slightly lower down. Starting off with actually one of my brand new trees design-wise, and that is a birch tree. I've never made any trees like this, and I'm really pleased with how it came out, but I do have a much better one further down there, which I'll show you in just a moment. But if we come down here, you can see I do have... Uh, a few little fish down there that's been caught by this fisherman over here. It looks like he's caught so many fish that he just hasn't been able to keep up. So I've gone ahead and done that. And then around here you can just see a bunch of just details that I've had before. Uh, but as we come over here, I do have some little stands at the back there. And I think that's pretty awesome. Um, I added some monkeys with their bananas in this tree. I really love that. I think that's really awesome as well. But I have to admit, this birch tree really is amazing. I love the look of it with the uh, brown dirt beneath next to my skate park. I think the colours work out really nicely. And it's so good, I'm even going to get another angle for you. So here it is. It's a really nice tree, like I said. I've also got this tree back here as well. I added some bats onto it. Not because of, like, that's actually where they'd be at this time of the day. But it's because I had them and I wanted to use them up. And I think it just adds for a nice little feature. And um, I've also got my traffic lights over here. You can see I'm missing a few tiles. I had to use those up because what I actually just recently did is I changed all the tiles in the assembly square from dark grey to light grey, which allowed me to actually create some of these really neat patterns. You can see I've done all of those. And in the end, I think it came out really nice. So uh, yeah, that's sort of how that section is looking. Now I've got my police station over here. If you want to see a full review on this and its full interior, you can go ahead and check out the video. I have it on my channel. I've also got a bunch of updates per floor as I was building it. So if you want to check that out, that'll be epic. I've got my pet shop here, or my step pets. Still haven't been bothered to actually change that to pet shop. And also one of the tiles has actually fallen out from there. I need to fix that. Uh, but coming over here, this is the bland spot, which will soon be updated. Here's all my sig figs, you know who you are. I'm always trying to make more, the problem is I don't have parts for everyone, so if I don't make you, I'm very sorry. Uh, I've got my bus stop over here, and I've also got this section, 
like I mentioned earlier, I think it looks really nice by the little cherry tree. The only reason I made that is because I had the parts and I thought it would add a nice little detail. So it's not the most amazing tree, you know, but I think it's nice. As you can see, I've got a little mouse or rat down there. Like I said, I did add some more wildlife. And this is the bottom of the Cafe Leo. It goes all the way up, way up there. And then eventually it does have a roof. I did build the roof because obviously I had the parts to do it. I put some solar panels there and some really nice little neat details to make it look like it's actually something. And uh, yeah, in the end, I think it came out really nice. And um, yeah, multiple hauls later and I still do not have any more scooter rider helmets or any tennis rackets. To be honest with you, I feel like they don't even exist anymore. I cannot find anybody with the tennis rackets, especially. It's unbelievable. It's annoying. I want more tennis players, but I'll get them eventually. Don't you worry about it. Uh, the rest of this city is looking amazing. Like I said, I did the uh, path back there, so it all blends in nicely now. I love this little modular I've got in between here. I think it works really great because obviously I do have three buildings off the assembly square. And then I've got the fourth there, so it sort of blends in quite nicely. And then what else do we have over here? It looks like we've got my new sort of revamped uh, golf course. I kind of had to break it up a little bit. You never saw that though, but I finally got all the pieces back together and uh, it's looking good once again. And yeah, that's pretty much the entire city and all of its changes. I do have my other modulars along here. And then I've got my train and my monorail. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is turn those on along with the Ferris wheel, obviously. Mustn't forget that. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like. The train is running out of batteries though, so if it doesn't really go around, there's nothing I can do about that. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then be sure to leave a like. And if you really loved it, make sure to subscribe. But this has been Lion, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Sure enough, my train has run out of power. Dang it! I'm going to fix that for the next update. But for the meantime, let's have a look at the other features in my city.